Hi guys, I'm Doopy Doo Over 2, and I have some Godzilla vs. Kong Funko Pops, three of them to show. I should do which one? Big one or Little Kong or Little Godzilla? I'm gonna. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a fish by its toe. If it swims, let it go. Guess it's big one. Yes, I know what you're gonna say. Is it a sin to open Funko Pops? Well, technically I bought it, so I can basically do whatever I want with it, but um, I know you're supposed to keep them in, but I'm getting it out so you guys can see it. Yes, I know, Kai, you're probably going to be clenching your fist. Yes, Kai, 18 James, I know you're going to be, like, very pissed off with me for doing this. So, here it is out of its box. So, the detail on this is pretty good. He looks highly detailed. If this wasn't a Funko Pop, then this was probably an X... I wouldn't say X+, plus, but... If it didn't have the iconic Funko Pop black eyes, just maybe it would be considered a statue. Like, if you were blind, you could easily feel this. This feels pretty nice. Not gonna lie, the spikes feel nice. It's got good eye, good detail eyes. You can see the gills on each side. You can see Funko Pop. Definitely not a knockoff because I have the licensing, blah, blah, blah. And then I have the dorsal spines, blah, blah, blah. Here's Godzilla, blah, 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 blah. And... I'm not going to really edit this video because I am going to waste that much time. So here's the box. Oh, crap. Uh, here's the box. Empty box. Godzilla. And on the top, Funko Pop. Well, it's called Funko, but fuck okay, it, I'm going to call it Funko Pops. Okay, that's that. Now let's get this. Uh, let's get. Let's get Kong out. Okay, the box looks pretty good. This is a keychain. So, you can have these on your bags or whatever you want. Oh, this one's in. I'm not really a big fan of keychains, but I know some people are like. I know some people are. So, this is a close up. Um, I always probably hate this when they do this. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, normally, I'd pop them from the back, but I heard you have to be more careful with these. <laughs> Bloody hell. Um, here's Kong. So, let me get a close up shot. Um, for a small figure, he's actually pretty well detailed for a small um, keychain. He's quite detailed. There's his bow axe. Nice paint job. Nice sky. For a small um, Funko Pop, he's got a lot of detail for a very tiny figure. Oh yeah, if you want to know, this could be actually a good size comparison. I know what you're thinking, he's small, but let's compare him to Godzilla. Now this is probably what he would be sized in Kong Skull Island. If he was this size in Kong Skull Island, uh, that's how big he would be compared to Godzilla. For sake, I can't hold it. Um, yeah, that's how big he will be in, like, that's how big Kong Skull Island would be compared to Godzilla. Yes, I will post some pictures on Twitter, if you guys want to look at some of them. I'll put the Twitter link in description below. Alright, time to get out Godzilla, finally, the smallest Godzilla keychain. Out of those two keychains, I'll probably use the Godzilla one more often, more likely. Um, bloody hell, these... I swear the Godzilla one is more got sellotape on the top because oh no, I guess people want Godzilla more. So yeah, um, come out. I look like a real idiot. I look like a real bloody idiot. Alright, here's the Godzilla keychain. Bloody hell! I actually didn't thought he would be well detailed. Bloody hell! He looks like right. He looks like the same replica as as the big one. Not the big one, I mean normal size um, Godzilla. He's a, he looks like the same figure, but the difference is this one's mouth is open and the head is more, the, the jaw is more shaped a little tiny bit different in order to give that look. He's like roaring. So this is it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.